morning everybody. While I'm walking, I thought we would talk about what benefits I've got from travelling. And there's many. So the obvious ones we can talk about is that you get to learn about different cultures, you get to meet different people, and you get to see different parts of the world that you would not normally see. Now you may have seen them on the TV, on other YouTube channels, but you've not experienced them yet for yourself. Huh, look at this side I've just found. This is new. Someone's just put this up. Very apt for our conversation at the moment. So, here you go to these. So, you go to these more exotic countries, um, Asia, Caribbean. And everybody, and they live so differently to what we do. The housing's not the same. The people are different. In the Caribbean, they're much more laid back. In the UK, we're always rushing around, we're always stressed about everything. We live off stress. It seems to be what fuels us. Whereas, of course, people that live in the Caribbean have their stresses. In the main, it's much more chilled. Nobody's rushing around all the time. I'm not, to, and I'm not just talking about when I've been here on a resort on holiday. I'm talking about just general life is just much more chilled out. And age is another example of where it's very different. They're very calm. I like. Like you can't shout in Asia. If you shout at someone in Thailand, it's extremely rude. And you just, you just don't do it. So exploring these cultures... Oh God, I'm going to get my foot tangled in my can I? Exploring different cultures... It's great because you learn different ways of living and also you become more grateful you know you you kind of uh, you know we're quite a wealthy country and although we may mo moan that we've got bills and we can't afford to pay our bills in general we have more money than most people in some of these countries and we should be grateful for that So you do learn to be much more humble. And also you learn to chill out a bit more until you get back to the UK. As soon as you get off that plane, you feel the stress. I hate going home now. I love wildlife. I love the ocean. I love sharks. I love crocodiles. Actually, I love everything dangerous, but I don't like spiders. Spiders creep me out. Especially big ones. When I go to Australia, we're going in the outback. Oh god, I'm dreading to eat huntsmen. And when I go to Thailand, when I went to visit my son in Thailand, he was living up the hill and he got big huntsmen. So when I went to visit him, I refused to stay and I booked myself into a place on the beach where they're less likely to be. I just don't want that stress. I love wildlife and when you get to travel you get to see so much more you know safari is amazing if you ever go on safari in Kenya or one of the other countries in Africa you'll never go to a zoo again 
you know, when you learn how animals live naturally, like and how much space a pride of lions need. And then you go to a zoo and you think, see it in a pen. You think, oh, this is not natural. It's just not right. And so, you also learn an appreciation of wildlife and of the environment. I've learned a lot about the environment from traveling through like South America and, and uh, Africa. When I was in South Africa, I did a walking tour through the Kruger. And it was really fascinating because a lady taking us, even though she had a rifle just in case, and there was two of them with rifles, but she was t like showing us evolution of life right from the dung beetle and the mud all the way up it was absolutely fascinating so i've, I've also you know learned th th things like you know it's what well, to me it's fascinating this history of places and i mean e england has a good history of its kings and queens and wars and you know we have a fairly good history but every country's got a history to it and it's it's just fascinating and it kind of gives you an insight into how people are how they are when i went to cambodia which is over 10 years ago now and um you know obviously they went through the Khmer Rouge regime. It wasn't that long ago. That's actually in my lifetime. It's just shocking. And um, that's another topic, isn't it? Is how we let this still carry on. Maybe we'll get into if I get into that topic. I just tend to try and stay away from politics. But, you know, a, a lot of their adults were killed in that regime. And so, in general, that population is very young. And it's not that long since it happened. And people, are, you know, people that are alive now are still, are victims of that still. They'll remember that. But the positivity towards life is extraordinary. It was one of the things that absolutely knocked me, knocked me sideways. They don't go around griping about what happened. They look forward. And as I say, they're quite, they're, when I went, they were quite a young generation, but there's lessons to be learned from traveling and meeting different people. And these are important lessons. And I always say, it humbled me going there. It really did. So, not only do you get to experience different cultures, which is amazing. And you get to see how people live. You get to learn more about wildlife, history, the environment. But it's what it does to you. And it makes you confident. It makes you feel confident. It makes you more of a rounded individual as well because you have much more of an appreciation of other people so you're less likely to be judgmental when you meet new people i find that when i meet fellow travelers it's, we just don't go around judging people all the time or complaining about things i hate going on trips with people and they moan about the food or they oh, why have you come or they moan that the people don't speak english if you're not in an english-speaking country get a grip if that's your mindset, just don't travel. Yeah, so what can you, what do you learn about yourself? So 
you learn different cultures. You, look at, you get different taste buds. Wildlife, environmental, confidence. Confidence in yourself. That's the biggest thing that you'll learn. It's, uh, you know, you just stop being afraid of your own shadow. You start doing things. It makes you more confident in your overall life. There's nothing more, there's nothing better than getting on a plane to somewhere new. And I think I spoke about this in the previous video. You know, it's a bit nerve-wracking when you first do it. The more you do it, the easier it gets. And you get a bug for it. And it just doesn't, it just doesn't go away. That's why I travel. And I think that's why everyone should travel. And I'm not just talking about solo travel here. I'm talking about traveling on your own or with a partner, with friends, wherever you get the opportunity, go and do it. And don't be afraid to go to these lesser known countries. And obviously do your research, make sure it's safe. Um, you know, just keep your wits about you and all of that. But no, anyway, I'm at the pharmacy now and I need to go and see if they've got my tablets in. So I'll sign off for now. Nice talking to you. And I will talk to you all again soon. Any questions or comments, just put them below. See you soon.